I know this is somewhat risky because I'm far away from the mic right now, but I am having faith that this mic picks up. So today I am location scouting. I've got a few shoots lined up for the next two weeks because I did planning this week. Last week, I failed. I failed so, I failed so fucking hard. It was one thing after another. I had one thing planned and then that fell apart. And then I had another thing. It, it all, it fell apart. It, it just straight up fell apart. And uh, that was really demoralizing. And then I kind of just got sad. And I lost momentum. So I didn't post on Sunday. And I had a million things that I shot and none of it felt good enough. So. This is my video for last week, and I'm shooting another video this week because that's my punishment. That's what I get. That's what you fucking get. That's, damn it, that's what you get when you fail. Okay? You gotta post twice, and they gotta be videos that are good. I look like a madman because I'm ranting, but it's okay. We are location scouting today. We are looking for spots to shoot at for the next week. I really like this spot. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep looking around. Let's go. Now that you know I failed, we can move on to what should have been last week's topic, which is location scouting, which is probably one of the most fun things you can do as a photographer. I was actually talking to a photographer friend last week about this. It was just one of those moments where she was like, hey, I've scrolled in on this particular part of where we live on Google Maps. Have you ever looked there? I was looking at Google Maps for hours and I couldn't find what it was. And I was like, oh my God, you do that too? It's a real thing. If you're a photographer and you haven't spent hours on Google Maps, you are missing out. It's like the number one greatest resource we have as far as finding dope spots goes. Stop the video if you haven't done it. Go on to Google right now and find something new in your area. Go find it and then drive there and take a picture right now. Stop wasting your time with this video. That's way more important. Let's find another spot. Jesus, I'm gonna lift this camera up so you can see the shit. Look at the shit. this open field. Cue the slow motion. I'm not gonna lie, I'm out of breath because I filmed the slow motion before I filmed the, the sitting down part. To move on to something a little more serious, I think a large reason why I like doing location scouting is because I can just get into nature and uh, it's quiet. I stick in some really vibey music and I just walk and it's a good way as a photographer to get away from the technology um, 
sometimes I overthink about what piece of gear I need for what shoot. It's gonna dress like what, what the lighting is gonna look like. And it can just be really hard to enjoy it when you're in it. You don't take the time and slow down. And this is the way that I, as a photographer and videographer, slow down and just have fun and I can be goofy and just enjoy how beautiful shit is. Look at this. It's crazy. So yeah, I think I found my location for at least my shoot tomorrow. I really love this spot and I've got a good feel of what the time is gonna look like. So that's it. Nothing crazy today. Again, this was for last week, so yeah. Thanks. I didn't want to end on an emotional note because that's kind of weird. I don't know, it's just weird to me. Look at this. I just wanted to end by saying like, seriously, location scouting is so important. I do it at least once a week. I just go around to local areas and I look around and I drive into different neighborhoods and to weird areas that I've never been. Fuck. I gotta hold this. Okay. But yeah. All that to be said, seriously, go search, go hunt, find a spot that you like, try to find one new one every week. I know that seems crazy and obsessive, but it's a good habit to do. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys this week again because I've got more videos to make. Alright, let's do it.